Hello, welcome to my studio. My name is Mike Wimmer. I've been a painter and illustrator for more than 40 years now, actually longer than that if I'm honest. I started selling my work at a very early age of around 11, 12. Uh, today, we're gonna talk about canvases, surfaces for your oil paintings. I've got some examples around here and talk a little bit about the rest of them. Oil, as we've discussed in some of the introductions to painting, is by its nature a little acidic. Over time, it tends to degrade surface materials that are not protected. Uh, you'll see them, as, if it's on paper, it'll start yellowing and crumble. If it's on canvas, it'll do the same thing. It'll yellow, it'll start eating away very slowly at the canvas, making it less tensile, less uh, strong, and will start degrading the surface that way. So the surface has to be protected. The canvas texture or whatever surface texture you're painting on has to be protected by applying some sort of neutral ground in between the surface and the surface of the paint. Uh, in the past, that was done by prepping your canvas, your raw linen canvas, with a rabbit skin glue. It was a very time consuming and smelly process. Uh, and then you would paint on top of that with a lead white, because it's lead and because it's with oil, it's going to be slightly acidic, but gives you a very flexible surface that lasts a long time. Or in the case of say Mona Lisa and Da Vinci and many other masters of the Renaissance, you would have painted on a very well, very well seasoned wood panel, maybe of oak or maple, some sort of hardwood that doesn't really expand and contract a lot. Uh, today we have all kinds of surfaces to paint with, we really do. These are some of the paintings I've done uh, as examples. I've painted my children every year for their birthday growing up. This is my son and daughter. It's painted on a very traditional approach. It's on linen canvas. You can see what that would look like uh, from one of the examples I have here, uh, another of my paintings. The canvas is a nice linen stretched over heavy duty wooden stretcher bars. And you can, you know, as a student, often will paint on cotton canvas. And cotton is fine. It's perfectly acceptable. And then it has a gessoed surface. In this case, it's an oil ground instead of an acrylic ground. Acrylic ground is nothing more than really, you think of it as latex house paint, acrylic paint with a white pigment on there. Uh, and depending on what kind of ground you use, usually if it's a white acrylic paint, it's also going to have added to it a gypsum or a calcium carbonate surface. It's a little bit of a ground up earthy material. It gives it a little bit of tooth. It also, depending on how much you add to it, will make that sizing or ground a little bit more absorbent. I have a friend who likes to add extra marble dust to her ground to make it even more absorbent so when she paints it absorbs the oil at the same time and so she can paint the whole thing in one pass. Some of the other examples that we have here are wooden panels. You can see here a cradle panel using birch over these one by twos makes a very solid surface and then it has been gessoed or ground on one side with a, an acrylic surface, subsurface. It works very well. The acrylic separates the wood from the oil paint. You can add more to it. You can even add more texture if you wish to it with more acrylic priming. Some of the things we'll use in class very often, especially in the learning stages, when you're, you are learning and you don't want to spend a whole lot on paint surfaces. The linen compared to canvas is almost double the cost, but it's double the strength too. Linen fibers are much longer, so when you weave them together, they become much stronger than the short fibers of cotton canvas. Cotton canvas is probably one of the cheapest uh, painting surfaces to paint on. Uh, here you see some boards that have a very thin canvas that's been gessoed mounted to the board. If you're familiar with illustration board, these are great for quick studies. 
they come in various sizes. You can see another one we see here. I like these a lot. They work really well for quick studies. Something I might do in class as a demonstration. They come as boards, so I can quickly just peel one off and add it and go to the next one. Another thing you've seen and often will paint on also, for, especially for studies, would be these canvas pads. These canvas pads come pre-gessoed in a variety of different colors for backgrounds. That way, you can use them. As they come with different colors. These are all gray. I prefer to paint on gray as a neutral. But you can see on the back side of this, it really is just cotton canvas with an acrylic ground on top of it. I can paint during class, rip it off and set it aside and paint again and again and again. Some of the other surfaces that you'll see are pre-made panels. Now we're coming up in price range. Uh, in my beginning painting classes, I will often have students buy a sheet, a four by eight sheet of masonite. And then I have drawn out a cutting map for that four by eight sheet to get a lot, a number of standard sizes of masonite panels that you can then gesso yourself with your own acrylic gesso and you'll have these ready to go and paint from. Uh, it's a quick and easy, fast way to have something to paint, especially when you happen to be painting in the field. Well, besides just painting in the field that they have now, in this case, Raymar is the manufacturer. There are other manufacturers that manufacture these also, where they have canvas that's been glued to a masonite surface. And uh, very stable, very rigid. That makes the ease of transport. They come in many different standard sizes. In this case, it's a portrait panel, meaning it is uh, sized with a double oil ground. That's uh, twice, in other words, two passes of oil primer on top of a linen canvas, and it gives you a really nice surface to paint on. They have a number of other surfaces that are rougher and with acrylic ground, or they have even finer, almost like napkin cloth, like silk, it's so smooth, and it's quadruple oil primed canvas. Each of those step up go up in price at the same time too. If you're not quite ready for that yet, I would suggest some of these uh, small panels created by Fredericks or Canzon, the very fast ones that work really well. You can see some of the paintings that I've completed. This is a surface also that is an MDF board that if you hold it on the back, just a regular MDF pre-masonite, in this case, probably a 3 8 inch thickness that has been gessoed on one surface and uh, was perfectly ready. And it's even set so you can frame and hang on the wall should you want to. This was just done for a portrait workshop that I did, painting an a la prima from life. It was about a 90 minute to two hour painting session. Uh, the, the surface takes the paint really well. It's got a little bit of a texture built in, almost uh, as if it were rolled on with a roller, so there's just enough surface and texture there that gives you the illusion of a canvas texture. It works really well. Fairly inexpensive. These aren't super expensive. They work fast. If you're painting in the field, these would be great for plein air painting also. Uh, another one of those panels, those wooden panels that I showed you earlier and then just on the surface and painted on top of it whether you're painting Batman or two adorable little children it's really up to you I'm sure you're going to paint a lot we'll talk about these different surfaces through our examples that I as you continue to follow me through on this uh, hopefully this little journey of learning to paint with oil